election results 2019. In less than five minutes, the polls close. The very future of the country for us and for generations to come is at stake. Hello, good evening and welcome to BBC Scotland's election night coverage from the heart of the BBC's headquarters here in Glasgow. We are, of course, right across the UK, including all the big counts in Scotland, bringing you the very latest news and, of course, those all-important results when they happen. We'll have all the drama, the big moments, the key players, and in just a few minutes' time, will bring you the joint broadcaster's exit poll, the very first indication of how the country may have voted. So, will Boris Johnson get his wish and persuade enough of those voters to return him with a majority and head off to Buckingham Palace tomorrow morning? Of course, Jeremy Corbyn will have something to say about that. He'll be wanting to make sure that Labour grab the keys to number 10 Downing Street. And what of Jo Swinson and her Liberal Democrats? Well, they'll be keen to make sure that they play a key role in how events unfold. Nicola Sturgeon will also be hoping that the SNP are power brokers when the dust settles. How will they fare this evening? Well, the stakes really couldn't be higher. There is a marathon of broadcasting ahead. And to help us along, we are joined by an all-star cast tonight. It wouldn't be election night without our political editor, Brian Taylor, and crunching the numbers for us, Professor Nicola McEwen from the University of Edinburgh. We'll also have the inside track on what's happening with two big hitters from the political scene, former leader of Scottish Labour, Kezia Dugdale, and Andrew Wilson, who last year authored a report for the SNP on the economics of an independent Scotland. Also here, right throughout the night, Rebecca Curran and Martin Geisler with a regular summary and in-depth analysis of the very latest developments. That's right, Glenn. The team up here on the news desk will be making sure you at home know exactly what's happening as the evening unfolds. I'll be here to summarise the latest news and reaction from Scotland and around the UK. And we'll try to make sense of what can often be a complicated night of names, numbers and breaking news. And behind me, on this very comfortable sofa, will be politicians past and present. Hopefully they won't get too comfortable as I quiz them about the stories of the night. Names and faces on constant rotation here as we ask the winners and the losers what they're making of it all. Well, we've got the very latest technical wizardry at hand to help guide us through the night. Laura Miller can tell us more. Laura. I'll be here throughout the night, building up a picture of all the results as they come in, using this, one of our virtual maps. This is the picture after the general election in 2017. But let's clear all that now. With polls closing shortly, it's all to play for, and this map will fill up over the course of the night. But in which colours? That is the question. Who will be tonight's winners and who will be the losers? Well, an election is not an election without gossip, speculation and with a bit of humour thrown in as well. Fiona Stalker and Nick Sheridan have it all in our election cafe. Welcome to the election cafe. We have a range of people reacting to the stories of this unpredictable election. We have people from politics but also people outside the Westminster box. We have our own cartoonist who's sketching through the night. There will be mistletoe, mulled wine and lots more. And you can join the conversation at hashtag BBC Election Cafe. We'll see you soon. Well, it's a big night with some big questions that it may help to resolve. What will it all mean for the United Kingdom's relationship with the rest of Europe? What will it mean for the future of the United Kingdom? There will, of course, be some really big moments throughout the night. And the first one is almost here. I'm talking, of course, about the exit poll. Ipsos Mori conducted 22,790 interviews in 144 polling stations across Britain on behalf of BBC.
News and Sky. It's exactly 10 o'clock and the exit poll is in. The prediction is a Conservative victory. The poll suggests a majority of 86 for the Tories. Now, that is a substantial margin of victory that would see Boris Johnson back in number 10 with the numbers he needs to deliver on his Brexit plans. Well, now, Brian Taylor has the detailed numbers for us for all the parties and, of course, the first analysis of what this means. Brian. Glenn, thanks very much indeed. This has been a remarkable election campaign, unprecedented given the nature of the contest, Brexit, independence, huge fundamental issues at stake. And I have to say, this is quite a remarkable exit poll. Now, we have to put in all the caveats. These are real voters in real polling stations who have really voted and then gave their views to, to our, our pollsters as they came out. But it is, of course, only a sample. It is not possible to be drilling down 100% accurate. But let's have those results. We are predicting from that poll that the Conservatives will win 368 seats. That is up 50. We reckon Labour take 191 constituencies. That's down 71. Here's a little thought. You remember before the election, Ruth Davidson, the former Conservative leader in Scotland, said she would go skinny dipping in Loch Ness if the SNP won 50 seats. If this poll is correct, she better get to the banks of the loch. The SNP will win in Scotland with 55 seats. That is an increase of 20, puts them back to the nearly to the 2015 level and will probably give Nicola Sturgeon a mandate to demand a further independence referendum. She says she's got that already. The Liberal Democrats will win in 13 constituencies. That's up one on the last election. 23 others, including three Plaid Cymru and one Green, giving the Conservatives a majority, as Glenn said, of 86. Now, we stress that these predictions are based upon calculations, the number of um, uh, sample size that, that Glenn mentioned earlier. Drill down a little bit, Glenn, just before you, we, you pick up. In Scotland, you're talking about Murray and Gordon among, among the seats going. Murray and Gordon from the Tories. Glasgow North East from Labour going to the SNP. From the Liberal Democrats, Edinburgh West, Caithness and Sutherland, and also Eastern Bartonshire. We're talking about Eastern Bartonshire going. Jo Swinson losing her seat. Uh, a remarkable opinion, Paul. Absolutely remarkable opinion, Paul. Oh, thanks very much Exit. for bringing those details. It's going to give us a lot uh, to talk about. So let's just pick up with uh, those around the table. And let's start, uh, first of all, with you, Andrew Wilson. What do you make of those numbers? Well,